Okay, we're rolling. Check out Demos Road. Demos Road. Demos yes. Road. Is that the Yakima coming down? That is down the Yakima. The side? Yep, okay. Yep. Mongo, what do you think about everything? You're checking nice. it all out. Look at you, you, you genius, you. Buddy, we love you. You're a good companion. Yeah, you are. Hey, I see you, Pongo. Yeah, see you. See those beautiful blue eyes? So Your in, fall, in fall, oh, wow. this is a gorgeous drive. Oh, man. Especially during the sunset, man. It's Look just, at just... this. And you have wineries out That's here? That's new. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. New, Elk man. Haven Winery, folks. Oh, we got to try that one. I want to try some elk meat. What do you What do you think of elk meat? Oh, look at that beautiful Terra gate. Blancas. Terra Blanca. Yeah, yeah that's very nice. Winery. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Super oh, lush. Wow! 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 And then we knew uh, a guy named Mr. Skelton, uh -huh. who Red, up one of Red the, Skelton. Well, that yeah, he he could have used that, but <laughs> that name was anyway. He was Already one of the first taken. ones to open up a winery on this road here. Oh, wow! And uh, we used to just show up at uh -huh. this place. Hey, hi, JJ, JJ, tell me, how you guys doing? Uh -huh. And he, he passed away, unfortunately. Just oh, as you and the missus. You and the missus used to come out here riding. There's another yeah. vineyard. Very nice. So. Inside of that rock right there. That's a big one. So, yeah, two cannon cellars. This used to be Skelton. Oh, right wow. I missed it. Okay, Sugar Pine Barn. What's that all about? I do not know. Interesting name though. Look at this valley. Wow, right along the river, you can tell, huh? Mm -hmm. Gosh, that's awesome. And so uh, we'll be kind of curving around and we'll end up on the flank of Red Mountain here uh -huh. in about 10 minutes and then back to Benton City. Yeah. Still got some apple trees in this area. A lot of the apple trees were uprooted though to make way for the wine grapes. Yeah, um, you gotta follow. Especially throughout the Oh, valley. look at the stables. What a beautiful house. Isn't this cool right here? Gosh, this is amazing. You got your volcanic cliffs on the right up here. Uh This is Demos Road. Look at these homes along here. Yep. Give me a few acres around me and I'm the happiest <laughs> guy in the world. I don't want to have any fights with any neighbors. Stay away from me. Will needs a space. Wow, look at these old cars out here. And you can tell that the guy's got a plan for it. You know, he's like, it's here, but it's not for sale. Mm -hmm. I've got a plan. Look at this. Wow. I can't wait to drive this in the fall. It's going to be super duper. So I need to find a new word to replace amazing because everything's amazing. <laughs> you find yourself. Oh, Margarita Beach. Oh, wow. Are we going to come back this road or not? No. We're not okay. Back. Okay. Okay. Too bad. Well, I'll look, I will always look how they pruned the trees here. The willows? Are those willows in there? Could be some willows in there, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah, when you listen to your videos, you find that people do some things, you know. Remember remember in the 70s, everybody said, uh, 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 mm -hmm. uh, was part of every sentence. Well, thank God we don't do that anymore. <laughs> but I find myself using certain adjectives, and I've got to expound and expand oh wow that house has a cool setup they've got a pool out there 
you can tell I mean it look look somebody's corn I hope they had a nice yeah. harvest there oh so we're headed back to Richland huh yeah it's, and this is this a, a, a numbered highway no it is not no, no this is no. just DeMoss Road yeah and DeMoss Road will take you all the way to Richland yeah, we're, we're making a kind of a loop. We're okay, back on so we'll loop we back into the 240 or yeah. the 214. Which one is it? The uh, 240? I can't remember which one right now. Yeah. But, uh, another 10 minutes. You know, sometimes there. some names are so obvious, you don't really get it. Mm -hmm. I have no idea why I never made the connection that the state of Washington was named for George Washington. Mm -hmm. I just don't know why. I mean, it's just like, it's so obvious, right? Mm -hmm. That you don't even think about it. And you say Washington and, but you know, when, when Washington became a state, he didn't live to see that. No. He Our was state. long gone. Yes. We and became. when did you become a state? 1889. 89. Okay. Okay. California became a state in 1848. Mm. There's some cool ramps back there for bike ride. Now look at the Yakima down there. I don't know if Oregon, I think Oregon became a state before Washington, right? Within a couple years, yeah. It, yeah, the reason I say that is because the Oregon Trail was a big deal. Yeah, oh, huge. And yeah. that was the highway that mm -hmm. people were looking for, you know? That yeah. was the 20, 40, 80, whatever, you know, you want to take coast mm -hmm. to coast. That was, people were out here looking for the Oregon Trail. We can drive about an hour from Richland to uh, Pendleton, Oregon, and you can still see the original tracks of oh, the Oregon Oh, that's going to be there. a cool trip. That yeah. is going to be very, very cool. Very, very cool. So let me show you what happens when weather gets below freezing. You don't feel your skin splitting. Check out the house on the hill. Oh, yeah, that's a nice big house up there. Look at somebody has... I don't know if you can see my knuckle. My knuckle has split. I don't know how and I don't know when. Uh -oh. And that's what happens when you're in cold weather like this. I'm trying to teach the gang at the house, you know, that be very, very careful. Yeah, yeah. You start to feel a burning sensation, you're freezing. A moisturizer. Yeah, man. man. And you know, you know what I've been rubbing into my hands? Mm. Leather conditioner. Oh, damn. So you get it for your shoes, right? I go, hey, leather, leather, you know? And it really feels good. Now, Edith Marr has something at the Krispy Kreme stores that they use mineral oil for everything because it doesn't leave a taste. Oh, there's a little Shetland out there being walked with a dog. So um, that's kind of interesting, mineral oil. We used to use mineral oil a lot in the States. It's not so popular anymore. No, but some things have a way of, you know, cycling back around. Now look at all these boats for sale. That's pretty cool. I think they're for sale. They're out in the front yard. That's the universal for sale setup, you know. So Fox Hill Drive. There's some wonderful homes out here. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Good old Lawrence Well. Yeah. Bobby and CC. Uh-huh. We'll be dancing on the floor tonight. Kissing Myron cousin. Florin, play us a polka. <laughs> oh, Myron Florin was a hell of an accordion player, yeah, too. Well, well, Lawrence Welk was a hell of a drunk, too. Man, <laughs> oh, man. He'd come out to the Bob Hope in San Diego. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. That guy could pound him with the best of them. My dad uh -huh. was laughing. He goes, Lawrence Welk, the guy's like a Boy Scout, right? Not, you know. Man, the guy loved to drink. All those guys loved to drink, you know. Frank yeah. Sinatra. All those guys were yeah, big. There's, there's a story about Lawrence Welk. Um, during the run of the show, uh -huh. he only paid his musicians union scale uh -huh. for performing on the show, uh -huh. which wasn't bad, but it wasn't really good it, either. It wasn't fair when he was making it big yeah. time. Kind However, of thing. Uh -huh. if on your resume uh -huh. you had that you were uh -huh. in the Lawrence yeah, Welk band, set for life. there was no end to the studio work. Yeah. That you could get. Incredible. I mean, uh, yeah, that that was like the. the, the Look at these houses bus. up on the hill here. Now that's we've passed the ridge, right? Yeah, the this ridge. is Red Mountain. Okay, this is Red Mountain yeah. here. Look at these wonderful homes people have built out there. No, that's that's one of my fallback words. Wonderful, incredible, <laughs> fantastic. 
I could use Fantastic a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Now what? Oh, look at this caddy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I want that car. Six, I want that car right there. Maybe, 65, oh, 65. look at that. And a coupe too. Oh That's my not a Ford, right? goodness. That's a oh my goodness. <laughs> that is a classic. Oh Dang. man. Look at that baby. Holy guacamole with organ plates. I got to have it now. Oh my God. Oh my goodness gracious. Right, buddy? Are you excited yeah. about that? Uh -huh. He looks good in the Cadillac. Buddy's like, yeah, I, lots of dog room in there. Man, yeah. that's when you could really put eight people in a car you and not could, worry yeah. about it, yeah. you know? Oh no. Look at all, is that a feel full of geese? What that's is that? geese, yeah. That's Are geese. they geese? Yeah. Wow. Are they gleaning? Yeah, there's a whole whole flock of them on the ground oh, right there. Oh, wow, look at yeah, that. They're, they're up, yeah, they're yeah. right here, too. Yeah, yeah. Van Gogh had a famous painting, The Gleaners. The Gleaners are the poor people that go in through the harvest. Mm -hmm. yeah, Anything they pick they up, up, you know, is, gleaning, is, yeah. is, is gravy, gleaning. Yeah, that's one of my dad's favorite paintings. My dad was a big Van Gogh fan. So he even did his own reproductions. They're, they are family heirlooms, cherished to this date. Miss Stephanie is the curator of all things Bill Cavan. So. B29 Bill, that's my dad. No trespassing. Somebody just left a car out there. Meeting a hot date or something. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yep. It's funny. People just don't understand all the cool stuff going on out here. Oh, I tell you, it's a pearl in the Now, desert. remember, JJ toured the nation. Where, where did you guys used well, to go when you'd well, hit the road? Western half of the uh, okay. nation. Everywhere from Colorado to California so to Canada. That JJ our... knows of which he speaks. He's a man who's got a few miles under his belt. A few miles, yeah. And he's seen places, met people. And I really love Montana. Is, Montana was my favorite spot to go visit. What part of Montana? Uh, Billings and okay. Missoula. Missoula. Missoula is very special in our family. It is. My um, great grandfather graduated from MIT in the 1800s mm -hmm. with a degree in mining engineering. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. He goes to Missoula mm -hmm. out of college. And it's really a crazy story. His story's even more crazy. Because imagine this, buddy. I said, no, knock it off. So, um, his ancestors were signers on the Mayflower Compact. Look at the trees. Okay. Ooh, these trees, wow. They got knocked down in the windstorm. We this was recent. These yep. trees yep. got knocked over. Oh my goodness. Look at there. Didn't mean to interrupt no, 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 no. So the story here is my family on my mom's side, basically the Peterson side of the family, were signers of the Mayflower Compact. There were 27 people who signed when they incorporated. They came to the new world, right? Mm -hmm. For religious reasons mm -hmm. and everything. So there was uh, a Hopkins. There was George P. Soul, who was a teacher. He was an indentured servant. As soon as he did his time teaching the family, he was a free man and of course, you know, had a lot of property as a consequence because there was so much of it to hand out. Anyway, the Petersons were royalist. So when the revolution comes around, they weren't founding fathers. They were loyal to the crown. And they said, to heck with this, we're going to Canada. So they go up to New Brunswick and then they get up over, you know, some of the family was over in Quebec, but that's more of the French side. But the English side were in New Brunswick, the Woodwards and the Petersons. And my great grandfather married a Woodward and her father, John Woodward, I think was born in England. He was a military man. And um, then in the 1800s, Here's someone who had come to this country, his ancestors had come to America in 1619, 1620, I guess 1620 it was, had come to America, they leave and go to Canada. I have his immigration papers. Oh, damn. 
Can you realize having to immigrate to the country that your ancestors, they didn't found it, but mm -hmm. they were the first people to settle it. Wow. Think about mm -hmm. that story. That's Think crazy. about those consequences. So I have his immigration papers and I have obviously his MIT, you know, history. And then he goes out upon graduating from MIT, he goes to Missoula, they had mining operations. Mm -hmm. This is a man, Millard Irving Peterson, who had made three or four fortunes in his life. So he comes out for the mining, one of his children is born there. I think my grandfather and his brother were both born in the Boston area. His sister was born in Missoula. They go back to Boston. He built some of the first apartments in Boston, the tenement housing. And then there was like a mini crash. Wait, and, I gotta stop yeah. at the taco shop. There. Okay, okay, okay. Dollar, we're, I, we're gonna backtrack. Didn't mean to cut yeah, you off. No problem at all. So anyway, to finish the story, he comes out, ends up in the Bay Area, um, buys banks. And they didn't have branch banking the way we do today. So these were the banks that he sold to a man named Giannini, who had the Bank of Italy. Mm -hmm. All the Italian immigrants would send money back home. And guess what Bank of Italy became? Mm. Bank of America. Oh my Giannini was the founder of Bank of America. And uh, then at the end of his life, they moved down to the Long Beach area. He had oil wells on Signal Hill. So he lived the California reality. He, um, he, look at this, now tacos a buck 50 a piece. Wow. Oh, 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 it's Taco oh, Tuesday. Oh, oh, no, today's Wednesday. Yeah. Damn it. But it, they're always a buck 50, so that's not too shabby. I gotta get yeah. a taco. Tacariello's Volcanic. I've never been here before. I saw their truck in Benton City. Huh. There was a Volcanic truck over there, too. This is very, very cool. Very, very, very cool. Here we go. Yeah. You guys just sit tight for a minute, boys. We're gonna go get fed. Yep, so here we are at Taqueria. Look. Hey, 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 hey. Pongo, Pongo, don't do that. Hey, hey, hey. Back in the truck. That was naughty. Pongo, that was an unauthorized jump. Pongo, get back in the car. That was not Pongo, 